Hello and welcome to EGN 3613. In this session we will continue addressing time value of money looking at another important term which is called equivalence. To understand what we mean by that uh, let's look at the following example. You travel at a speed of 68 miles per hour which is equivalent to 110 kilometers per hour. So we can say that 68 miles per hour is equivalent to 110 uh, kilometers per hour. But we are using two different measuring scales, one in miles and one in kilometers. <clears throat> so the question will be is 68 equal to 110 maybe not in terms of absolute numbers but they are equivalent in terms of two measuring scales that miles and uh, kilometers <clears throat> now let's look at the economical equivalence where we can make two sums of money at two different points of time economically equivalent taking into consideration interest rate and number of time periods between the two sums the equivalence here will be in terms of economic value <coughs> going back to our example from previous slides we can say that uh, 20,000 at a time zero is equivalent to 21 at um, 21,800 at the end of year one if the interest rate is set to equal to 9% per year so let's say it again 20,000 now is not equal in the magnitude to 21,800 one year from now but 20,000 now is economically equivalent to 21,800 one year from now if the interest rate is 9% per year so we included interest rate and time which is uh, in this case or in this uh, situation one year only <clears throat> so in summary to have economic equivalence you must specify the timing uh, for uh, each uh, cash flow the interest rate I uh, which will be per interest period and the number of interest periods N For example, let's calculate the equivalent worth of uh, 2042 deposited today in saving account with 8% annual interest rate at the end of five years from now. So we are looking for the future uh, value. Uh, deposited means out of pocket into the bank. That means it should be in a negative because it's an outflow. It is required to calculate the future equivalence in five years with 8% interest rate. So we can use the uh, formula that um, uh, we went uh, over uh, last time, which is F is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus I uh, all to the power 5. So that was the um, lecture uh, the uh, formula that uh, we uh, g went over last time um, substituting the numbers P is uh, 2042 uh, the interest rate is 0 0.08 and N is 5 so it will be to the power 5 multiplying the numbers by each other you will get 3000 <coughs> Now remember that um, 
we said that we can develop an Excel sheet to calculate that. So actually, if you have um, P, which is equal to uh, 2042, I, in this case, will be 8% or 0 0.08. And n, which is equal to 5, then we can find f, which will be equal to, and here we can put the equation, which is p multiplied by 1 plus the 8% all to the power n. I have to put the asterisk as a multiplication uh, for um, the formula here. And if we formatted the cell to be a number without any decimals, zero decimals, it will be 3000 and this is our value. So we can actually make any changes. If you change the number of years to 8, it will be calculated for you. If you change it to 10, it will be calculated for you. This is the way to use Excel sheet as a calculator for the interest rate to calculate the future value, uh, whether uh, over five years, eight years, 10 years, whatever the value. In addition, you can change the interest rate from 8% to 9% and it will calculate for you uh, the value. You can uh, uh, change the uh, principal value at the beginning, which is the 2042, and that will calculate for you the future value. So this is a way uh, to use Excel sheet, and this is what I was telling you about before, that you can develop your own Excel sheet to make a calculator, economical calculator for uh, your uh, values. In some cases, we would have um, today's amount and the future amount, but we need to calculate the interest rate. So the example in this slide gives us the worth today, which is the 2042, and the future value uh, in five years, which is 3,289. We need to calculate the interest rate. How can we do that? Now, remember from the previous example, we have 2042 with 8% resulted 3,000. So it's, uh, it means that um, for sure the interest rate is more than 8%. Uh, then uh, we can try the 9% and see what we get. And then we can try the 10% until we get the 3,289, which is the 10% interest rate. So we, it could be um, used like that or calculated like that, or you can use a mathematical calculation to do it. And also you can use uh, Excel sheet if you would like uh, to calculate the interest uh, value like I did uh, in the Excel sheet that we have here. So if you um, uh, change the value, keep the number N as 5 and uh, change the value to 9%, we can see that the uh, future value is 3142. If I change it into 10%, then I will get the 3289 and that is the value required. So we can use Excel sheet, we can use mathematical calculation, or we can just estimate the value, keep on calculating until we get the value that we have.
we can also calculate the present dollar value that will be economically equivalent to certain future value um, uh, if we know uh, the interest uh, rate uh, given the interest rate uh, so the example in this slide is asking for the present worth amount that will be economically equivalent to five thousand eight hundred seventy seven and thirty two cents in five years given an interest rate of eight percent using the same equation remember that um, f is equal to p multiplied by one plus i uh, to the power n as i said f will equal to p multiplied by one plus i to the power n but um, what I'm calculating actually I need to calculate the present value p um, as uh, you used in algebra to get rid of the term you need to divide by the term so what we are going to do we're going to divide both sides by this term so we can get rid of it so it will be divided by 1 plus i to the power n divided by 1 plus i to the power n since this will cancel then I have p on this side alone and this is the value that need to be calculated is equal to f divided by 1 plus i to the power n if we flipped the side it will be p equal to f divided by 1 plus i to the power n and this will be our equation that we are going to use okay so let's see how it's been uh, used and I will go back to the um, slides P is equal to F divided by 1 plus I to the power n substituting the values the future value is five thousand eight hundred seventy seven and thirty two cents divided by one plus the interest rate is point uh, zero eight that's eight percent and n is five so it will be to the power five and that will be a uh, four thousand dollar so you need to uh, deposit uh, four thousand now or today um, at time zero to be able to collect five thousand eight hundred seventy seven and thirty two cents in five years with interest rate of eight percent now let's practice this problem how many years would it take an investment to double at ten percent annual rate so we can calculate the number of periods needed to invest so so far we calculated the future value we calculated the interest rate we calculated the present value and we can calculate the number of periods that um, is included or that is involved here just to um, get uh, the feeling how we can utilize the same formula to find the different uh, values or different variables within that formula so how many years would it take to invest to double um, the investment to uh, uh, with an interest rate of 10 percent let's assume that the present value is p this is my present value and at the end of the period with time n or n periods 
I need it to double to be 2p double the amount so this is the current value this is the future value knowing that we can use the formula and again f is equal to p multiplied by 1 plus uh, the interest rate to the power n the interest rate here is 10 percent uh, the future value f actually will be equal to double which is 2p so uh, equalizing these two sides uh, will uh, allow us to uh, cancel p with p and we have 2 is equal to 1.1 to the power n in this case to find the value of n we can take the logarithm of both sides so it will be log 2 is equal to n log 1.1 which means that we can divide both sides by log 1.1 so we can cancel this part with this part and then I will have n is equal to log 2 divided by log 1.1 calculating these using a calculator you will get 7.27 years and this is the value of n or the number of periods that is required to double your investment to estimate or approximate how long it um, uh, it will take to double your investment we can use an approximation or approximating rule called the rule of 72 in this case we will have n is equal to 72 divided by the interest rate the n here is approximate value so for example in the previous exam uh, uh, the previous example we had 10 percent Let's divide 72 divided by 10%, we will get 7.2 years. Our calculation gave us 7.27, and that is close estimation. So try to do that using other interest rates. Change the interest to, like, uh, for example, 8%, and see how many years. Then do the calculation using the mathematical method and compare this method the rule of 72 with the actual mathematical method and see how close they are so this is a approximation or estimation method that can be used without going in the route of doing all the calculation to find uh, the number of periods uh, using the log uh, and uh, using the mathematical uh, calculation uh, this was a lecture about the equivalence uh, and we learned how uh, two values are equivalent to each other economically um, over a period of time with certain interest uh, rate uh, if you have any questions you can uh, email it to me or you can come to my office and I will um, be more than glad to explain it for you um, that will be all for this session thank you and have a great day